<clears throat> Big news from Apple, that one more thing moment. There is one more thing. They announced something called HomeKit. Now we also have HomeKit. Now, we've talked a lot about the connected home and the ability to essentially control your home with your device. And to date, that's been a little niche. But now Apple is jumping on board and they have HomeKit, which is essentially going to allow you to control your lights, control your doors with your smartphone, with your iPhone and your iPad, as if you weren't connected enough. So if you look at this trend of body hacking, of using data to understand yourself more, Apple just got on board. Monitoring your activity level, your heart rate, your weight. They announced something called Health Kit. And this is essentially combining all these third party devices uh, that you might already wear. Let's say it's Fitbit that measures uh, certain steps and putting all of this health information in one place. We're talking a profile of your activity, your heart rate, your sleeping activity. And the idea is to get to know yourself a little bit better, to understand your body using data and using this. Of course, it's a little bit creepy that Apple could potentially have all that data. It can contact the hospital proactively, notify a doctor, and that doctor can reach back to that patient. One thing I will leave you with is security, because we are in an age where it is easier than ever to get hacked because we are increasingly connected. We've talked a lot about the connected home, but we've also spoken to hackers about how easy it is to actually hack the connected home. As you put this information out there, there are also bad actors out there looking to exploit this data.